At Rancocas Valley Regional High School in Mount Holly, New Jersey, something is always watching. And they're all over the place. You can see that one there. So. And we're not just talking about the hundreds of security cameras Superintendent Dr. Christopher Heilig pointed out to us as he showed us around the sprawling campus. First and foremost, first thing in the morning, we're always thinking safety and security. Which is why this high school became one of the first in the country to add something extra by working with a company called Zero Eyes. We use your existing video cameras coupled with our artificial intelligence gun detection. This simulation shows how the technology works. As someone approaches the school with a firearm or takes out a gun inside the school, the Zero Eyes software flags it with a box. Someone at the company's operations center then immediately reviews the alert. In under a second, the operator will zoom in to verify whether it's a gun. And if any of the cameras catches someone brandishing a weapon and Zero Eyes confirms it's a real threat, push alerts go to the administration, dispatch, and police. That's why we found a Zero Eyes, to get an image of that gun and that shooter to the right people before shots fired. Sam Alimo is a co-founder of Zero Eyes, one of several companies implementing this type of artificial intelligence technology in schools, hospitals, train stations, and other high density locations. The Zero Eyes AI will only detect visible guns, as you can see in this green screen simulation. It will not pick up on weapons hidden in jackets nor faces, which some other companies are experimenting with. If you look at Parkland, if you look at the El Paso, Texas shooting in uh, Walmart, if you look at Uvalde, that gun is exposed in front of multiple cameras for quite a while before the shot is fired. We spoke with Alimo at our Manhattan studios following meetings he took with local government agencies, among others. Here's what he could say about the possibility of AI keeping an eye out for guns in New York City. We're in contact with quite a few larger organizations here, uh, both in the commercial actually in the commercial education and government space, and we should be seeing something soon. Mayor Eric Adams, a self-professed fan of modern tech, has a whole team devoted to hunting down the latest innovations. They don't get caught up in the day-to-day -day crises. They are scanning and interviewing on new technology so that we can run our city more efficient. On the specific possibility of AI embedded within city school security cameras, the New York City Department of Education told us nothing for now, but quote, we might have more by the end of the month. Still, using artificial intelligence in this way is not without concern. And it can do a lot of things, but it can't solve everything. Professor Sheldon Jacobson at the University of Illinois has made a career of assessing and studying risk. He helped design TSA Pre. Jacobson points out that school shootings are extraordinarily rare, whereas the gun violence that's killing our kids is mostly outside of the school and often involves suicide. When you have such rare events, what you end up with is investing a lot of money but potentially losing the opportunity to use those resources for things that are more valuable for the students. Jacobson is particularly skeptical of versions of the weapon spotting technology that may try to identify hidden guns and send students into unneeded lockdowns. What is the impact of this on the students, especially if this starts to happen a few times every year, you know, from their emotional well-being, their mental health, Zero Eyes avoids this issue by looking only for exposed weapons. But to further avoid false flags, Alimo, a Navy SEAL who founded the company with other Navy SEALs, says they only hire retired members of the military and law enforcement to staff the operations center. The reason we have that human in the loop is to make sure that when we dispatch it, it is the real deal. We never want to dispatch something that's going to get the client spun up thinking they have a mass shooting problem, when in fact it is a child holding a cell phone in a way that looks just like a pistol. Subject Sure, black hands. Back at Rancocas Valley, this active shooter drill, which was recorded, sold the community on using AI. Dispatch can can guide those officers to the shooter um, really fast. You know, Superintendent so Heilig showed us how Zero Eyes helped officers respond 300 percent quicker and immediately find the simulated shooter in the building. Zero eyes decreases that response time almost down to nothing so that we know that we're saving lives.